video, I'm going to be talking about my first trimester. Um, I am currently 12 weeks, um, and I believe that's like ending three months or beginning three months. I think it's ending three months. Um, but yeah, so far, everything has been great. I haven't gained any weight. Um, I've actually still been losing weight. I have been incorporating more food into my diet like daily. Um, so by that, like I'm just eating more, um, not necessarily eating a lot, but I'm eating more throughout the day. Um, so I'll be like snacking on a cheese stick or I'll have like a little protein shake, um, things like that just to kind of keep me really full throughout the day which is what I should have been doing when I got the gastric sleeve surgery. Um, but just because like whenever you get it done, you don't feel hungry. And like if you're busy enough and like if you're doing stuff, you just don't feel hungry. Um, you can take like a bite of something and then you're good and it'll hold you off and you just forget that you need to eat. Um, <clears throat> but with my case right now, that is not something that I can afford to do. <laughs> So I'm making sure that I'm snacking throughout the day, obviously healthy snacks, um, make sure that you're having a lot of fiber, protein, iron, um, beans have been my best friend during this pregnancy. I, as soon as I got pregnant, I found out that I was anemic. Um, I'm pretty low on my iron, so it kind of sucks for me to breathe. Um, I'm not big or anything, but I'm just very like out of breath all the time um, and i noticed that i was anemic when i started getting very cold all the time um also whenever i get up really fast that is just horrible let me start over with my symptoms so as far as morning sickness goes i experienced nausea not vomiting i experienced nausea no wait i did vomit that day I experienced nausea on week six. So very early on, um, as soon as I found out basically week six, the morning that I woke up, I was like, oh my God, I feel super sick. And at that point I wasn't eating as much as I am now. So I was kind of still having like one meal a day kind of deal. That sounds like super bad, but if you're a gastric sleeve patient, you'll understand what I'm talking about and how that's totally normal. <laughs> So with that being said, um, I was very nauseous that day. Um, I did throw up that morning, but since I hadn't eaten anything, it was just like stomach acid. I did tell my friend who was previously pregnant before, um, I was like, hey, is that normal like to throw up stomach acid? And she was like, no, she was like, you need it. If you're gonna throw up, it's better to actually throw up food than stomach acid, cause it's just stomach acid. Like you need to make sure you're eating and then ever since then i would have like uh crackers by my side um ginger ale like i did the full pregnancy thing that only lasted for about a week to where i felt super nauseous all day long I threw up like that first week um and i threw up a couple days ago but just because i was crying i forgot why i was crying but i was crying and because of that i got really bad oscul and i just threw up that typically never happens i feel like that is from being pregnant um you're just like a little bit more sensitive to things um and i guess from like i don't know like you know how when you cry long you're like <laughs> using your throat muscles a little bit more i don't know um so anyways that was the only other time that i had thrown up during my pregnancy so far which is really good because i was really afraid of losing too much weight and like not being able to hold down any food or any nutrients or things like that um but it's a good thing that i haven't had any issues with that another side effect that i've been having that's like really 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 bad and i've never experienced anything like this is tiredness um i know a lot of pregnant women who say that they're tired but you really like don't know until you experience I have never been a lazy person. I've never been like a tired person or one to take naps throughout the day, but goddamn, when, probably when the nausea ended, so like week seven, um, I just, one day was just like, oh my God, I cannot get up. I cannot walk. I, like just the thought of getting up and doing stuff made me tired. And I was like, what's wrong with me? Like, why am I feeling like this? Like. 
and I googled it and I was like is it normal to feel this tired and then people were like yeah well like if you're super super tired then you might want to bring it up to your doctor and I did bring it up to her and she was like dude that's totally normal like you're perfectly healthy um it's just that the baby's draining you <laughs> and I was like dang that is so crazy I still to this day feel kind of um tired it's not as bad as it was before um, to where there had been days where I just laid in bed all day long and I have never ever done that in my entire life. My entire life, my mom kind of raised me like that to always be like, do something. If you're not doing something, you need to draw. If you're not drawing, um, you need to sew. Like always be crafting, always use your brain, always use your hands, always get something done. If you're like laying down, at least make sure that you're doing the laundry. You know, like just don't, lay down and waste your life basically but with being that tired it's almost like a sickly tired um it it feels like you went to bed uh i mean everyone's different so you might go to bed at this time but it feels like if i had gone out the night before drank a bunch um and went to bed at like three in the morning so all day i'm just exhausted tired kind of queasy but not quite nauseous um if i don't eat that's when I'll start feeling like kind of weird in my tummy. So I have to make sure that I put something in my body immediately to prevent that like nausea from happening. Um, but other than that, everything has been pretty good. Everyone was saying that the tiredness does go away. That I'm still experiencing it, so I can't tell you for sure. <laughs> I have way more energy than I did at the beginning beginning. Um, I have like a weird disappearing bump that comes every now and then um like some days the bump will be there and some days the bump will be not there at all some days i'll look super super skinny and like some not super super skinny because i've never been super super skinny but skinnier than what i've ever been before in my life so that's an accomplishment there are some days where it's there and there's some days that it's not and i've actually read up on this and like a lot of women experience that that their bump kind of comes and goes and then by month five it's like there um but till then it kind of just like it's a lot of bloating that happens and you know a lot of movement that's going on your body is like making room for the baby and you know doing its thing so it gets kind of freaky sometimes but i'll insert some pictures of like my really skinny days and then my really pregnant days <laughs> um and these were taken actually just a couple days apart from each other um so i was pretty shook at that i was like there's no way and i remember i was driving home from my grandma's house and i was just looking down at my belly and i was like oh my goodness like that there's no way that that's all baby because that is that looks like a five month pregnancy and i sent it to my friend and i was like what the heck like look at me and then she was like yeah it might be some bloating <laughs> and she was like are you sure you're not just having one baby and i was like yeah, I'm having one baby and it's probably gonna be a big baby because Zachary's huge and I'm huge. Um, and not necessarily like thick wise, like I am a thicker build naturally. I've always been thicker, um, but I'm 5'9 and Zachary is 6'4. Um, so our baby is gonna be pretty tall, pretty long. Alrighty, so um, as far as movement goes, I remember I was still pretty early. I was probably like eight weeks. I kid you not, and this may be not like even scientifically possible, I felt the first little like bubbles is what I could describe it like. And ever since then, occasionally I'll feel bubbles in the same part of my body. It's like, you know, like where you get your period cramps usually in that area. I started feeling bubbles there and it felt like somebody was like blowing soft little bubbles and they were like popping on the inside. Um, Oops, my light just went out. Ooh, that bitch is hot. It'll probably turn on in a little bit. Um, so yeah, I, I would feel like little bubbles, like a little blow and then a little pop. And it was so magical. And I was like, is that the baby? And I Googled it and it was like, that is like a feeling that a lot of women get. Um, currently, every now and again, I'll feel like a little fish. I was telling Zach the other day that um, it upgraded from feeling like little bubbles to um, a little fishy swimming, like it's a little bit bigger. So it's like, ding, 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 ding. Um, I did go to the doctor the other day and I got to hear the heartbeat. Um, and she was saying that everything sounds good. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited for this. 
Um, now, as far as being pregnant with a gastric sleeve, um, I got pregnant seven months after, seven months post-op. Um, mind you, me and Zachary never used anything. Um, and we've been together for almost four years now. Um, but I had gone to the doctor um, for that reason because I was like, hey, like, we're not trying to get pregnant, but why am I not pregnant? Like, is everything okay? Like, is everything good? So I got a checkup. They did a, um, like, a scan of all my insides and stuff. And they were like, no, you're good. Everything's fine. Like, um, maybe it's your partner. And then Zach was like, it's not me. And I was like, yeah, I don't, I feel like men do have fertility issues, but I feel like if there's an issue, it's typically the woman. Um, but like I said, we weren't interested in having children. Like if it happened, great, but we weren't trying to have one. Like we weren't trying everything we could to have a child at that immediate moment. Um, so I was like, well, I don't want to get you tested right now. Like that doesn't matter. We'll just let life happen. Um, so then after that, that's when I got my gastric sleeve surgery. Um, and the doctor had even told me too. he was like, you may get pregnant if you lose weight. And then I was like, huh, yeah, sure. Um, so yeah, sure enough, I got the gastric sleeve surgery. I don't know if it's like a surge of hormones or just being healthier in general. It could be a little combination of everything. Um, but yeah, seven months later, I got pregnant and I never thought I would be making this video because there has been multiple times to where I'm like, oh my God, maybe I'm pregnant. And then I'm like, no, I'm not. And like I said, we weren't trying, but it was kind of a bummer, like not being pregnant when I thought it was. Cause I was like, fuck, is there something wrong with me? Like what is going on? Um, and it's crazy because this happened at such a unique time in my life. Um, not only was it after I lost all this weight um, and I'm still continuing to lose weight, not rapidly like i'm not losing like 20 pounds in one month you know what i mean um i'm losing like three to five pounds a month um which is totally fine and acceptable um both my doctors have told me that i'm in the clear um the only main reason that they don't recommend you to get a gastric sleeve uh, surgery and then get pregnant right after is because they want to make sure that you can lose as much weight as possible um i'm pretty happy at the weight that i am right now i feel super healthy i feel super beautiful i don't feel too skinny and i don't feel too big i feel like absolutely perfect and i love my body right now um so if i don't lose any more weight that's totally fine i highly doubt that's gonna happen um because I don't eat anywhere near as much as I used to before surgery. Um, but who knows, we'll see. I've seen some other videos of women who had had the gastric sleeve surgery and they got pregnant afterwards. And they said they gained about 30 pounds. Um, I feel like I may not gain anything. Um, like I'll obviously gain a little bit of weight, but I'm expecting to gain like 10, 15 pounds. Um, I feel like I'm not gonna gain that much. And if I do, that's totally fine because I always told Zachary before um, when we were just talking about having kids, you know, you get you get married and you start talking about things like that. You need to know where you guys are in a relationship and as far as wanting to have kids. So we we're talking about this. I remember telling him, I was like, dude, I cannot be having kids at the weight that I am now, which was at 2, 270, 280. I can't remember. Um, I was pretty big, though. And... I remember thinking if women gain anywhere from 15 to 30 pounds on like an average, some women gain a lot more and some gain, some women gain a lot less. And I was thinking if I'm one of those women that gain 50 pounds during their pregnancy, that would put me at 300 pounds plus. Like that is not okay. I could, I could not be 300 pounds. I remember when I was younger, I was telling myself like if I ever hit 200 pounds, I'm gonna go on a diet and I'm gonna lose all this weight and I'm never gonna be 200 pounds. I hit 200 pounds and then I hit 220 and then I hit 250 and then I hit 270 and I did not wanna hit 300. Um, it's just crazy how easy it is to let go and just indulge in all your eating. Um, but I'm very glad that I'm at the weight that I am now, which is one, I'm still losing some, 
um, I'm at 194, I think. Um, my goal weight was 180. So I'm almost there and I'm very happy. Even at 194, I feel amazing. Um, but yeah, so I'm very excited to see where this journey takes me. And I hope that this video helped you guys out. And I hope it answered some questions. If you guys have gastric sleeve and are pregnant or have gastric sleeve and are wanting to get pregnant, know that everything will be okay. Just take your vitamins and you'll be fine. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that it helped you guys out, um, answered some questions. If you guys are interested in getting the gastric sleeve surgery and interested in having children in the future, I hope this video helps you out and I hope it calms you down. Um, everything will be all right. Just make sure that you consult with your doctors um, so you guys can figure out the best plan for you and your baby. All my social media will be linked down below, Instagram, um, I don't really use Facebook anymore, but Instagram and Snapchat are definitely down there. I have a TikTok and I don't use it, but maybe eventually I will. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.